Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a quick look at the Panzer IV G. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to the skin that's on this vehicle. It was created by he who shall not be named, but I will provide a link to his live WarThunder.com profile. Unfortunately, he has removed everything from that profile but it will be included anyway, just in case he ever starts putting anything back up. Now the Panzer IV was a German medium tank developed in the late 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. On 11 January 1934, the German army wrote a specification for a medium tractor to support the Panzer III, which was armed with a 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. The new vehicle was to have a short-barreled 75mm howitzer as its main gun, and it was allotted a weight limit of 24 tons. In concept, it was intended to be a support tank for use against enemy anti-tank guns and fortifications. After the start of Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union, the shock of encountering the Soviet T-34 medium and KV-1 heavy tanks necessitated a new, much more powerful tank gun. In November 1941, the decision to upgun the Panzer IV to the 75mm anti-tank gun was made. This resulted in the vehicle being equipped with the 75mm KWK-40L-43. When firing armor-piercing shells, the gun's muzzle velocity was increased from 430 meters per second, or 1,410 feet per second, to 990 meters per second, or 3,250 feet per second. The Panzer IV oust F tanks that received the new, longer KWK-40L-43 gun were temporarily named the Panzer IV Oust F-2. Three months after the beginning of production, the Panzer IV Oust F-2 was renamed the Oust G. During its production run from March 1942 to June 1943, the Panzer IV G went through many modifications including another armor upgrade. To avoid a corresponding weight increase, the 20 millimeter steel plates were removed from its side armor, which instead had its base thickness increased to 30 millimeters. The weight saved was transferred to the front, which had a 30 millimeter face hardened steel plate welded, later bolted to the glacis. In total, frontal armor was now 80 millimeters thick. At this point, it was decided that 50% of the Panzer IV productions would be fitted with the 30 millimeter thick additional armor plates. Subsequently, on 5 January 1943, Hitler decided that all Panzer IVs should have 80 millimeters of frontal armor. To simplify production, the vision ports on either side of the turret and on the right turret front were removed while a rack for two spare road wheels was installed on the track guard on the left side of the hull. Additionally, brackets for seven spare track links were added to the glacius plate. In April 1943, the KWK-40L-43 cannon was replaced by the 75mm KWK-40L-48 cannon with a redesigned multi-baffle muzzle brake which improved recoil efficiency. 1,275 Panzer IV Gs were produced with an additional 412 previous versions being upgunned or upgraded to the G standard before production was shifted to the Panzer IV Oust H variant. Now in War Thunder, the Panzer IV Oust G is a rank three, 
with a battle rating of 4.3. It has a 476 horsepower engine propelling the 23.5 ton vehicle to a top speed of 24.9 miles per hour. It does not come equipped with the L48 version of the KWK40. It comes equipped with the 75 millimeter KWK40 L43 cannon. And with a maxed out crew, you can achieve a reload of 6.2 seconds. Now the Panzer IV Oust G is a perfectly capable tank at its tier and battle rating. But do remember that it has a lot of flat armor and it can be penetrated very easily. So try not to get in a slugging match. There are a couple of tanks at this tier that you will have some problems with, but overall it is a very nice tank to drive at this battle rating. So let's uh, hop into a game and see what we can do with the Panzer IV Oust G. All right, looks like we picked up Ash River. That's pretty good. I enjoy this map. I've got a couple of, well, I've actually got a spot I want to try out. So that'll work out quite well. And it's on this right hand side too. I have one from the left and one from the right. So let's do this one here. I'm going to show you all this uh, hiding spot. You must promise not to use it against me. Alright, don't shoot me, dude. It's right there in front of me up on that ledge. But you got to get to it over this way. If you try to get to it from the other way, they'll see you and shoot you. I've already tried that. So you gotta make a right right here. It's kinda hard to get to. The larger the vehicles are, the harder it is. And I've fallen off on the road a couple of times and I just had to J out instead of trying to get people to flip me over. Here we go. Uh, and I made it. All right. Okay. So right here, peeking around this rock, that you see to the other side of the map. I missed that shot, but I didn't really do any damage to the Sherman. This rock gives you a nice little bit of cover. You can't stay poked out of it too long. You gotta keep going back. There we go. Oh, a Churchill. They're tough. If I can get him from the side. But if he gets turned toward me, oh, back up. If he gets turned toward me, it's going to be a hard nut to crack. They know I'm here. Drop a little arty. Distract him. Yeah. Well, I got a nice shot right on that front uh, flat plate. And that one didn't pin. He must have angled a little bit. Alright, I'm reloaded. Oh. No. Nope. 
I got to get this Churchill just right to kill him. But that Panzer IV, he got plenty of spots I can hit him. One of these is the church. I think it's this one. Ooh, Archer. I mean, not Archer, Valentine. Valentine. Nice hit on that Sherman. Oh, he's moving. What do we got here? Another F4. Oh, he's moving. He's still. Very, very still. Got him. Oh. I missed him. A martyr. I was hoping he would still be there. Oh. Churchill. messed his machine gun up, but it's not much damage. Uh, Panzer IV, that's something I can kill. Uh, we tracked him, I think. There we go. Another hit on the M4. Oh, I missed the stug. There he is. Oh, we got his engine. Oh, and he stopped with his side to me. Worked out quite nice for me. What do we got? Is that that Panzer IV? What's that? Another Panzer IV. T-34. Misting. Got him in the turret. Bounced. Oh, kill assist. I'll go on it. And there's that dang Churchill. I don't know if any of the ammo that I have will pin him unless I get a nice flat shot on that front. I don't know. We'll see. Hit him in the track. assist on somebody. Wait. The 
those weren't even aimed good, so He's moving. There we go. Man, I almost put that right down his barrel. That'd be cool if he'd go straight down his barrel and blow him up. Oh, they hit me. But the game is over. So, yeah, that spot works out pretty well for me a lot of times. Let's see how we did. Not very many awards, but it's all right. Supporting, tank rescuer, professional, and shadow strike streak. Six ground units destroyed, four assist. First place on the team. 26,362 Silver Lions. Not too bad. Not as well as I would have liked to have done, but not for government work. All righty, there you have it. The Panzer IV Aust G. Um, don't forget about the Drive for 5,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be an M10 Achilles starter pack. Um, if you haven't already entered and you would like to, uh, the video is about a month old got to scroll back it is I think I renamed it it's the giveaway War Thunder M10 Achilles starter pack is the name of it watch that video subscribe to my YouTube channel leave a comment and you will be entered to win so the Panzer 4 G if you liked this look at the Panzer 4G, hit that like button. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. Nerd out. And don't use that hiding spot against me. <laughs>